And here he comes, old evil Christian Rose. This man, with the help of a roll of duct tape, at Darkness Falls ascended a ladder to get that Rocket Pass title in the Rocket to the Top match. Inside that briefcase is an RPW Heavyweight Championship title opportunity. So not only does Mark J. Rocket have to contend with Chris Logan, but Christian Rose can take his top of shot anytime he wants to. That is the beauty of the Rocket Pass. Rocket Pass, yes. Old evil Christian Rose. This man is as good as it gets, as talented as is here in this company. What do you do when you need to take down an old evil organization? You send in a mercenary. You send in a guy that operates worldwide. You send in a guy the army sends to do the things the army doesn't want to do. The mercenary Garrison Creed. This man is an entire battalion of one. I have seen this man in the matches with the highest stakes. I have seen this man wrestle some of the greatest competition working in wrestling today. He fears no one. He is unstoppable. And Old Evil is about to find out why the mercenary is called the mercenary. Built like he is chiseled out of marble, like a Greek god. I definitely would not get in the ring with him. One of the finest players in professional wrestling in this era or any era. Operating worldwide, this is the mercenary. And I would be afraid, very afraid, if I was old evil. operates to a code outside the box of any other athlete. Christian, Christian Rose. Oh boy. Hey, hey. You look at me when I'm talking to you. Who are you? You, know, you think you can come in here and run around and disrespect management? That man right there, his name's Bill Shelley, not Bill Sheen. So if you want to come in here and disrespect management, Garrison Creed, I got something for you. We're going to make this match much better. That case right there is on the line. The Rocket Pass is the is the prize in this match. Garrison Creed gets an opportunity to win the Rocket Pass in the briefcase. The dynamic has changed, and we are now underway. And Garrison Creed is stopping the proverbial mud hole into Old Evil. I'm going to tell you one thing, Professor. Garrison Creed has now acquired his target, that title opportunity. This man is single-minded and Old Evil is in real trouble. Look at the wild child, holding on to that case like he knows it's in danger. Like a child holds a teddy bear. I don't think Old Evil Christian Rose signed up for this. The man has the biggest boot in the business, but I don't know if he's ever fought a mercenary and Garrison Creed is on a mission. Shot after shot, the mercenary knows no restraint. Old Evil at this point hasn't even put up a defense. Old Evil is fighting his way outside the ring to get help and maybe a breather. He has had his ass handed to him on a plate by the Merc, who now has title aspirations in mind. And you do not want to fight Garrison Creed on the floor. You do not want a hardwood floor anywhere near you when Garrison Creed is here. 
That is an educated knee right to the chin of all evil. They heard that one. Everybody heard that one. They heard this clear in New Lennox. Oh, through in the front, front row. You better keep your eyes on a swivel if you're a front row man or woman here at Rock and Pro. You will get popcorn, pizza, everything, nothing but the finest from Bruiser Newcastle's refreshments. And then maybe a wrestler in your lap, and, and Garrison Creed has the briefcase. You want sweat with that popcorn? <laughs> I, you might get a little sweat. It's like butter. You're salt. You're gross. Professor, stop talking. She's walking around the ring. Wild Child is successfully feigning injury. But that, but that gave Old Evil enough time to maybe get a little momentum on Garrison Creed and Garrison Creed. Oh! Garrison Creed was about to be chopped and the only thing chopped was that iron pole and he may, he may have broken one of his fingers. Broken wrist. Oh! We are surrounded by chop artists at Rock and Pro. Mark J. Rocket being one of the ultimate choppers. Garrison Creed's chop is every bit as devastating. As Old Evil has found out now, Old Evil Christian Rose is begging for mercy, but he doesn't understand. The mercenary knows no mercy. Finally got him back in the ring. Little Old Evil being practiced by Christian Rose, as he now has Garrison Creed at a disadvantage. Remove the shenanigans. Oh my! He got chopped, and Christian Rose has just shown you that Old Evil can give a chop, and he hurt his wrist when he hit that pole, and I don't think it's any better now hitting the chiseled chest of one Garrison Green. Also, I like hear to a pole. Indeed. Missed that one completely, and he gives him one of his own. Now it's a chop punch sandwich, and he is bludgeoning this man. He bit him. Oh, my God. That is evil. Old evil just bit a man. We have cannibalism being exercised here in Joliet, my God. He might have broke his finger right there. He bit his finger and then broke it. Garrison Creek can't even feel his hand right now. And oh. Old Evil is working it. Say what you will about this man's tactics, but Old Evil Christian Rose is one of the top players in this game. He has got all the tools, all the talent, and he is devious. And now he is using that rope as a weapon. Referee breaks it up to five. That's legal. I, mean, that is, I don't like it, but it's legal, Professor. You gotta break it at five. The mercenary is falling back. Again, he is working on that hand. That was a kick to the throat. Oh, maybe I, I saw the hand fly. Maybe it was, it was going up to cover. Oh! My goodness. Two feet, one forehead, no waiting. Old Evil is just pounding. Oh my god, I felt that over here. No, Old Evil's hand is still hurting from that turn. There's great out, out of desperation. Goes after the knees, tapping Old Evil down like a tree. Oh my god, right to the throat again. Spinning neck breaker, down goes Creed, and he's going for the cover. Old Evil only gets two there. These are two very, very sophisticated athletes. These are men that know their craft better than anyone, and they are measuring each other at this point. There's nothing fancy about that. That is just punching a man in the face. That is as old as time. No 
drop kicks, no hunakanranas, just a fist to the side of your skull. Sometimes that's all it takes. Two men exchanging punches, center of the ring. How many of these punches can Creed take? Well, I think he's got a few more left in him. And now they are just a chance, and Creed has come back with a volley of, of fists. Big kick right to the midsection, cutting out the win. That'll, that'll knock the win right out of you. And Creed is calling for the end. If he hits him with a stolen Valor driver, it's over. High knee right to the head. You are always eight seconds away from the stolen Valor driver. And he is calling for the Joliet faithful to get in his corner as Old Evil is, is struggling to get up there for that high knee. I will get in his corner. He's in his sights. Here we go. Double drop kick, head snip, back into the turnbuckle, and down goes Rose. He gets up after that one. Connor Hopkins can't believe it. He's flipping him off, but that's not gonna matter much. Oh. My goodness, did you see how high he ascended? I thought he put an end to evil right there. That was a beautiful moonsault. Found his spark just enough to keep Rose down. Green is pulling out every move in the book. He wants that shot. He wants that rocket pass. Is he going for the stolen Valor driver? If he hits it, it's over. Green misses. Drops him down in the cover. Only two. Rose only got two and Rose is frustrated. Green found a way to kick out of that maneuver. Green is worse for wear. He can't even get to a vertical base. Old Evil Christian Rose is wondering what he's gonna have to do to beat this fan, and he's got the briefcase in his hand. Is he leaving, or is he gonna use that as a weapon? I think he's gonna use it as a weapon. He might. And the referee right there gets the plunder out of the man's hands, and Garrison Creed is right there. Oh, big kick to the head. Is he getting him up? Big, big suplex and the cover. Oh, we had some interference there. Connor Hopkins Hot pulling ball. the ring. He's got, he's got to throw him out. He's got to throw him out of the arena. The referee has thrown Connor Hopkins out of the, re out of the arena. He's thrown him out of the building. He's thrown him out of the building, away from ringside. He is sure stepping around like maybe his leg's not hurting. While his back was turned, Garrison Reed has been victimized, and Rose is going for the finisher. Not so fast. The roll up, one, two. Oh. And there it is! There it is, Big Iron! The best big boot in the business! He cleats Garrison Creed! That right there is a damn shame, Professor. The big, the, 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 the iron, the big iron being one thing, but Connor Hopkins clearly hit Garrison Creed in the face with that briefcase. Them damn coyotes, I tell you. And they are celebrating like this was a legitimate match. Like that was a legitimate win. Win. We all saw what happened. Oh, they're going to show the pass. Why are they going to... He's carrying a beer. That is the rocket pass case. And he's got a beer in it like a cooler. <laughs> like a damn, oh my God. Wow. That man has no respect. He just defiled our stage. 
I'm all shook up just like that man. That man just defiled our stage with a beer. That's unbelievable. Creed is still working his way out.